What's up, man? There he go. You been staying out of trouble? Mm-hmm. But just in case you haven't been staying out of trouble, let me tell you your story real quick. So, you remember I said I did six years in prison across four different prisons in Georgia, right? Okay, so I won't bore you with that no more. So, I'm at, Stel I'm at uh, Telfair State Prison. And that's a level five maximum security prison in Georgia. And over 50% of the people that's stationed at uh, Telfair won't see the light of day again because they have life sentences for murder, for rape, for kidnapping, for all types of crazy stuff. So this is my first time because I got transferred from Hancock State Prison. So this is my first day at Telfair State Prison. So we get called to go to chow, to go get our food and stuff. So I'm going through the line and people just let me get in front of them in line. I'm saying, dang, y'all show sure is nice to be in a maximum security prison. But come to find out, they weren't being nice to me. So I was going through the line to get my tray. And when I get my tray, I realized that they was trying to prevent themselves from sitting by the window. So i am go over there and sit by the window because you can't, whatever, wherever you sit at, that's where you're at. So I'll go over there and sit by the window. So when I look at the window, I see thousands of gnats just flying all in the window. Then I understood the reason why they was letting me get in front of them because they didn't want to be sit, seated by the window. So I try to move, they say you can't move. The guard say, you know, you gotta eat your food here, hurry up, eat your food, and that's it, and just leave and go back to your dorms. So I say my blessing. When I lift my head up, I see 10, 15 dead gnats in my food. And I think we had like mashed potatoes, some type of fake meat and something else. So I go up to the guard who was standing by the window and ask her, can I get another tray because look at all these dead gnats in my food. She looked down at the gnats and started laughing. So I thought she was just playing with me, but then she just turned her head and stopped acknowledging me. So I went back down to my table and everybody that I was sitting with just started laughing at me, understanding that I was new. So the most degrading thing I've ever been through by far, inside of prison or outside of prison, I had to scoop the dead gnats out of my mashed potatoes and eat my food because the money that I had transferred from Hancock hasn't didn't get to me yet so I had to so I was hungry I ain't have no store no commissary or anything so I had to scoop the dead ass out of my mashed potatoes had to move them off to the side and I had to eat my food so I just wanted to tell y'all that story so the next time you think about doing something crazy I know you've been doing good but next time you think about doing something crazy robbing somebody stealing killing somebody shooting somebody or anything like that think about this story because them gnats waiting for your ass